Hello and welcome to Click Tips and Trick Videos. I'm Shilpan Patel from analyticshub.io where one and only one goal we have is to make you an awesome Click developer. Before we begin, please subscribe to our YouTube channel and share like videos if you enjoy our content. So in this video, we're going to go over pick versus previous functions. Since both functions perform very similar operation, new developers find it difficult to figure out when to use pick function versus previous function. So in this short video, I'm going to try to navigate through the nuances of both functions and try to help you figure out when to use pick versus previous function. So before we dive in and look at the actual example, let's quickly review both functions. So as shown in this depiction, I have an inline load of a table with two fields, order ID and sales. Now, if I want to create a new field called total, which will have cumulative total of sales for each order ID, then I can use combination of previous and pick functions. So it's shown on the right side of the depiction. Imagine a little funnel with input and output records. So here the input records are from the data source and the fields are ID and sales. And the output fields are ID, sales, and newly created field total amount. So for input records, you can either use pick or previous function, even though it's better to use previous because pick function fails silently. So as a general rule of thumb, use previous function on the input records. Now on the output records, which is stored in the internal associative database of ClickSense, you should use big functions because previous function does not work on the output records, especially on newly created fields in the internal associative database. So with that little nugget of knowledge, let's go over an example in action. Okay, so to save time, I created an inline table with order ID and cells, and pipe is my delimiter. So if my intention is to create a cumulative total field, which is a new field that I'm creating, I'm going to use if function with the logic of comparing the ID first. So the first step is to compare and make sure the ID same while adding sales amount to the cumulative total. And then for every new ID, reset that to the first record of that ID. So we're going to use if, and to compare the IDs, as I said, you can either use fake or previous on the input record because order ID is in my source table. I'm going to use order ID equal previous order ID. All right, so that's the comparison. As long as the order ID is same, I'm going to create a new field called total, which will have cumulative total. So for that, I'm going to use pick function since pick function works on the output record or the records that are stored in the internal associative database. So here I can create a brand new field, total plus sales. So it's going to keep adding sales from the previous row to the total. Now, if IDs are not same, then I want to start with the sales amount of the next order ID. So that's sales as total. So this is the syntax. Now let's go ahead and reload and validate our data. So if I look at the data model viewer for order ID one, I have total of 13 and that makes sense. Six plus ten, four plus three. Order ID number three, it total is 37. So this works. Now, what if you used previous function here. Well, it's going to fail because previous function only works on the input fields.
So if you go ahead and load that, it's going to complain the total not found. So this is why when you're creating a brand new field, for instance, creating cumulative total, you have to use fake function. Now it is true that previous will work if I use just cells here, because cells is part of the input from the source. So let's go ahead and load this and quickly review the data model. Now it worked, but my total is not correct since it's simply adding value from the previous record to the new record. So instead of 13, I'm seeing 10 here because it's not going all the way back to the first record since I'm using cells. So it's completely ignoring that new field while creating cumulative total since previous function can only work with existing fields that you read from the source. While big function can work on newly created field, which is in the memory, in the internal associative data set. And that's the major difference between big and previous functions. I also recommend that you read definition of both big and previous in the help section to understand. But in nutshell, whenever you have a question as to whether to use big function or the previous function, use this general rule of thumb that if you're working with fields from the source, then you can use either one. But if you're working with a newly created field in your load statement, you have to use big function. So I hope you like this. Please visit our academy, analyticshub.io slash academy and become a member. You can join our membership for free. Anyone in free membership, we have a ton of content. Of course, we would love to have you join our pro membership. So with that, thank you for watching. And until next video, have a great day.